Phil and I used a little 1010 John Deere there, direct blade over to the galleon, and uh, between the two of us, we managed to uh, get her pushed up underneath there with uh, a lot of monkeying around, chaining up the uh, A-frame up to the underneath the main frame, and using the buck of the tractor just to lift it up and maneuver that blade uh, as needed. It took us quite a while to figure out that uh, if we would just pull the pin that keeps the uh, blade from turning around in the circle, we should be able to uh, leave the A-frame uh, tucked in between the wheels there and manipulate that blade so it's at an angle so we can just push it in, and uh, of which we're doing right now here in this here shot. Part of the joys of working with this old iron. Nothing goes easy. Here I am here, just finally figured out that if I just tap that pin back, it'll tilt on the circle. This here grader never did have a, uh, a gear operated circle. It was just a pin with a bunch of uh, pin placements that it would fall into to capture it at a certain angle and you're grading your uh, project. Luna, she's uh, getting kind of bored of the whole situation. Just laying there, right in the dirt. We finally got her uh, pretty close to where we need it, but then uh, this chain we had holding it up in the frame got uh, bound up there, and now we have this problem. We have to figure out a way to Finally got her in uh, place underneath there, and instead of trying to pull the uh, blade up forward to the grater, we just uh, pushed on the front of the grater and pushed it into the blade. Well, it's been a couple of days later, and I'm still down here at the galleon. Just uh, we got it in place uh, with the tractor there the other day, and uh, but I never had it bolted down because uh, I never got the uh, bottom uh, trunnion caps complete with the. Uh, unit here or the front pivot pin but uh, today we're working at we're going to get uh, that blade hanging underneath the um, frame of this uh, galleon here and, and uh, looking like it should. What we're missing is the cap that goes underneath these trunnions at the ball here that's captured by the by this assembly here so you can pivot as it goes up and down and Whatnot. So I don't have a, a cap. I've checked into it. I can get a new one eventually with a pretty pricey, 100 bucks or whatever each, which is crazy. So temporarily, I just drilled a couple holes in this flat uh, flat iron. I'm just going to bolt it underneath there, and uh, for my purposes uh, for the next weld, that'll be good enough because uh, we're not going to be doing any work with it. This blade is broken here. It needs to be welded up and. There is a whole series of things that, uh, before the frame can actually be put to work, we got to address. So, temporarily for now, all I want to do is be able to have this blade uh, suspended underneath the frame, pinned to the front, and uh, that cross member in here pinned to the far corner 
because so, it holds it uh, the whole blade in in position so we'll get that uh, bolted up and uh, and then we'll uh, come on back to you Now it looks like we might not be able to get that in there, but we'll just see. Maybe you raise that uh, assembly up and put that bolt in there. Working with this old iron, it just never seems to uh, give you a break. There's nothing easy about any of it. I'm gonna put this here. Uh, don't know if it's gonna help me out, but I got a just an old uh, steel uh, spring washer, a large one. I'm gonna put it underneath there and just have it sandwiched. I might, uh, if needed, have to. Uh, we might have to weld that down to the this flat bar just to keep it centered on the ball. We'll see what has to happen. Okay, here we go. We got uh, both these trunnions on either side of the blade uh, cinched up. And the blade was up off the ground there until a second ago. Using these uh, hand wheels right here. I don't know how many times these wheels have uh, been raising and lowering these this blade over there's a, either side just to raise each corner over on uh, the front i did get uh, a pin put into the front of the a-frame holding the blade right there it's just a big chunk of rebar i just uh, whacked her off with a cutting torch for now it's good enough to uh, hold her in place there while we move it around and uh, on this side the stabilizing uh, bar I managed to get in pinned in position with just a fairly big bolt so now we can move it around uh, without it swinging and swaying and losing position and uh, we're gonna have to move it around now because uh, just before I started the camera this tire has been flat so I had it jacked up with the jack all and then uh, just because it could it all slid over sideways and dropped her back to the ground so I'll have to uh, take care of that but I'm gonna take care of that at a later time because well it started raining pretty darn uh, heavy there again so I'm uh, just uh, wrapping this video up with a couple of stills that I shot just before it clouded over again and it was actually sunny so the grader is looking much more uh, impressive now it's got that blade hanging right on it under uh, underneath the main frame and it's actually picked up off the ground it actually did go and uh, lean over because i had it on the jack hall but now i have to fix that but anyway she's a wrap for today and we'll catch up to you later